used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Where to now? Left, across the square! Hey, Damir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed it myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? Doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? 
you look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. so much time on the surface. Eh, well, sadly, it's their job. <laughs> well, job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Eh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive after now. Huh, and how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In the whole metro? Who will be left here in ten years? Ten years? We'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. No antibiotics, no suture threat. Which is why we can't afford to have our best fighters taking unnecessary risks. What will we do if all the Spartans come down with radiation poisoning like Arkham and the Nazis try something? Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a smoke, brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see you, all right. This calls for a celebration. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, how are you nurses in the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him. Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, uh, uh, All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it. Guys are like so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. beach or in a green forest but what good are these fantasies in a silent world silent Artyom because it's dead we took our time time to replace our filters move it we don't need any extra radiation darling Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off limit zone. <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Look, 
Maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Help me get out there. Shit. Come up now. I got you. Did you hear that, Matthew? Now that's what I call a blizzard! Can't see a thing! Or here! Let's switch to radios! What the... Artyom, are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? A train! A damn train on the surface! Where? Should we catch up with it? Look! It's our guys from the Order! It looks like they're chasing that train too! Let's join them! Hey, come on! Get inside! How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing out there? We sure did! Come on, get in!
picked up two more individuals at the railroad bridge. One of them is the Orbital Commander's daughter. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank already. God. Because These people, the they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for What's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We, we aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. You people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Watchmen broke through. 
What's that noise? Attention! The turntable is switching off! Accept this shit again, okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? A method? A watchman? A human? How did you? Oh my god! It's you she's been screaming about! Alive! <laughs> you came for her! All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Take him down. Can you do it quietly? What's with that mumbling? I'm just talking to myself. 